We are on a boat hunting trip on the west coast of Sweden, and in yesterday's episode we looked at the Forgus 52. Can you see yourself there on a start night watch? Before leaving, the broker suggested that we should have a look at one more boat, a Nayad 391. The brand Nayad is another well-renowned boat builder, originally from Urust. Their boats are built at a very high standard and are from start designed for offshore cruising. The Nayad 391 is no exception and you can really feel the craftsmanship and quality on these boats when you step on board. But the high quality comes with a high price tag. New, these boats are probably around twice the price as a similar sized production boat from any of the bigger European brands. The boat is 12.1 meters overall and displaces 10 metric tons. The draft is 1.9 meters and it has a bolted on lead keel. The owner is asking 168,000 US dollars for the boat. Längre sitter den här ju, alltså med sittyta, att den går hela vägen. S i Malin, jag tror det är fina sportnämnen. Ja, det var fina lackade ytor här. Well maintained from it in here. From 99. So it's a separate shower cabin. Here is the weavers. A little bit of storage. The teak is in great condition. And it's all not teak, the it's um, mahogany. And mahogany, yeah, the mahogany. The woodwork is in great condition and all the upholstery too. The engine is a 62 horsepower Yanmar, original from when the boat was new. we think about the boats yeah let's start with the Forgas yeah uh, the, the Forgas was uh, a very big boat uh, I mean the deck was vast it was uh... <laughs> vast <yeah. laughs> you could get lost on that deck no, yeah. not really but it was big it was a big boat yeah and uh, I liked the deck I liked the teak deck that the, the, the deck was in really good shape and like I said on the boat, it was probably replaced about 10, 10 years ago. Mm. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. um, Though when I came inside the cockpit, I was a little bit uh, surprised that it was quite small. Yeah. So when I sat down on like bar, port or starboard side uh, of the like cockpit seats, mm. you could uh, pretty much only sit two next to each other. Yeah. And if you would lay down, you would have like your legs outside of the seat. Yeah, that was yeah. a pretty small yeah. co cockpit for being a 52 foot boat. Yeah. But I think the reason for that is because it was um, a deck saloon deck boat. Salon, yeah. So I think mm -hmm. the idea was that you could sit inside yeah. as well. But 
So, but if we start just saying like an overall opinion or impression about the boat and then yeah. we could talk <laughs> about details. Yeah. What's your overall impression? I mean, the overall impression was that it was a lot of boat. It was, it's a good quality boat. But it really made uh, the boat feel small inside for being so big. Yeah. It was like really narrow, narrow passages. It was quite dark also because of the deck salon, uh, which is one of the negative aspects with the deck salon because you first come down and then you go down even further yeah. below, making you feel more like cave-like, dark. Yeah, I mean um, the deck salon area was, I, I liked that a lot. And there it was a lot of light. Uh, mm -hmm. But then when you step down into the to the galley and uh, the salon downstairs next to the galley, it was not dark, but it felt like you, you had taken two steps mm -hmm. down further from the so yeah, like down in the basement. Yeah, and the galley was it was very narrow to go into the galley, and pretty much I think you can only be one person in there and if someone wants to go in like the first mm. person has to go out the passageway yeah. leading forward uh, just na passing the galley was super narrow as well yeah so it was just so everything was so small down below yeah. even for being such a big boat so i i mean i think the boat in itself would have been a perfect boat if for somebody who's looking for maybe doing charter or something like that to have a lot of guests on mm. the boat then it's a, a really nice boat because it's a good quality boat, has good equipment. Yeah, and then it was a uh, lot of uh, stowage, a yeah. lot of uh, compartments where you could uh, just put away stuff. Mm. But what we are looking for as a family and doing more family cruising, we really want to have, make it f have a feeling of space space like more spacious yeah, more room inside more yeah. room inside and especially yeah. in the areas where you spend most of your social time area. like yeah the mm. social areas yeah. like, as the salon as the galley yeah. uh, just that whole area uh, more floor space yeah. so i think if they on the forecast if if the just the the galley and the salon the the salon downstairs would have been a bit bigger and you know, if the two cabins up front were Three. maybe just a, a you know um, a normal uh, V berth up front, would they? Uh, yeah, or if they had head. just made the head smaller. Yeah. Because the forward head had, was really big. Yeah. Um, uh, un unnecessary big. Yeah. Uh, maybe they could have cut away the shower or something. They were just made in a different way yeah. and take uh, remove that V berth yeah. that they just used as storage anyway might have been better but yeah not the boat for us no i mean it would have been too much work to you know alter the interior and stuff like that and so, that's not what we're looking no. for so i think we're pretty yeah we have decided it's not the boat for us no not a forgus 52. no at least not that one <laughs> And then we looked at uh, Nayad 391 from uh, 1999. Wow. And, yeah. What a difference. That was uh, right? <laughs> a really nice boat. I mean, we hadn't really planned to, to look at this boat because just on paper, it was it's smaller than, than Ron is. Mm. It's uh, 39 feet. But this boat was just... Uh, but it is actually bigger. Yeah, I it's mean, wider. volume, it has a bigger <clears throat> volume in the hall, so it feels a lot bigger yeah. than it does. Yeah. But wow, I mean, when we came aboard, just the, it felt like a new boat. It, I mean, it was almost 20 years old, but, mm. or 20 years old, mm. but it felt like new. It was It, 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 it even smelled condition. new inside, you yeah. know, this uh, was pretty Yeah, just perfect incredible. condition. And the whole deck area was, felt so much bigger than if you compare it to Ron and was definitely like big enough for what we need. Yeah. Like the whole, they had a really nice uh, bathing platform. You could yeah. stand there and sit there it was a little area. The aft deck behind the cockpit was nice, was good mm. in the two seats. The cockpit felt much bigger than on the Forgers 52. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, having, 39 the, foot boat. having the seat going all around. Yeah, no, that was and a really really nice cockpit yeah. and the 
teak was perfect and then all the varnishing as you under the spray hood or the soft dodger mm. um, perfect condition mm. so it was mahogany interior yeah. which also the Forgus had but yeah. coming down but I mean everything going uh, first down. off we can talk about the deck because you mentioned that they were doing some repairs on the deck and it's Divinicel in the yeah under the teak uh, on these boats and uh, yeah there there had had been some leak uh, in mm. the middle of the boat that they cuz this boat had actually been sold yeah. uh, but when they did the survey they the surveyor he found a little bit of yeah moisture, moisture. in the middle of the boat so they yeah. were fixing that now yeah but that made that buyer withdraw his offer and we yeah. withdraw from the whole purchase yeah. so that's why it was on sale again and the best thing was it had my name <laughs> yeah the boat is called <laughs> Malin yeah that was good maybe that's a sign <laughs> yeah yeah and coming down in the boat I mean like I said it, it was like a new boat mm. we opened the engine compartment uh, you could have dinner on the engine it was so <laughs> clean in there and everything was so tidy and mm. everything was just mm. perfect so you could really tell that that owner had really taken care of the boat yeah had really like he himself I mean just taking good care maintaining cleaning like you should right yeah. and we also got told that as uh, soon as there was a like, little bigger issue or something maintenance job <laughs> he has hired professional work yeah. uh, which is good if you're not I mean if you don't know how to do it yourself or you don't want to and uh, and it had been stored inside for most of it uh, during the winter time mm -hmm. uh, yeah. most winters so. the floorboards and all the, the woodwork was perfect condition uh, upholstery was in great condition even if it was original yeah um, all the compartments inside there were clean it was like so it felt so fresh and actually yeah. inspiring yeah. going down below like you felt oh this is nice I, I mean, instead I, of getting the first feeling like oh yeah <laughs> okay we have to do this and this and this and this and yeah, this until it gets nice so that was a nice feeling and like going down like there was quite a lot of floor space yeah it felt roomy actually mm. the, the salon felt more roomy than on the on the Forgus. oh yeah i mean the feeling of air and space was greater yeah. on, on the nayard um, so, so two cabins one v-berth and then an aft cabin which and then i didn't really like that they had split the, bed. the beds mm. in in the stern because i mean either one was pretty wide so I guess you could sleep two on one of those beds but, but still not wide enough to be really comfortable no and one was shorter it wasn't yeah. long enough so that would have been more for a child yeah. and the other one that was full length it was n not as wide as you want to have it really comfortable no um, but yeah so but they had a split uh, head and split shower so yeah. just a shower compartment which is great so even yeah, if like you that. only have one head or toilet or bathroom yeah. you can still easily man manage that even if you have more people on board yeah. but it was a little bit too small for us yeah I mean now thinking forward thinking that this is something that we are supposed to grow in yeah um, it is not it is a bit too small. Now I think the next model up, the mm -hmm. Nayar 441, yeah. that would have been a perfect, a perfect I think. But perfect. they are, this one was for sale for uh, uh, $160,000. And maybe you could get it down to our budget mm. around 150. Which we have to say is a great price. Because yeah, if that, you look yeah. at the, at the yeah. market and you look at those other models, this was actually it's in almost one of the lowest the cheapest ones yeah which was strange because and in that was, condition yeah because it was like a new boat um, but like Malin said it was too small uh, the next size up would have been a great boat I think for mm, us so that's but they it. are they're not meant there's one at the market at the moment but that's in like, Sweden no it's uh. in Finland and it sits uh. at two hundred and ten thousand mm. dollars which is bit too much for us um, 
And also when I looked at the pictures on that boat, it wasn't nearly as uh, nice mm. uh, maintained as this boat. So mm. we'll see, we'll keep looking. Mm. But it was great to see these two boats, yeah. which were very different from each other. And just get a better idea of what we are looking for and what we need. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, it was great to see the... I was actually, it was surprisingly how much room there was in this 39 foot Nayad. I was, uh, yeah, that that got me thinking because then, you know, maybe because I was saying in the beginning like, oh, we need to have something at least 45, maybe 47. But now mm -hmm. I'm thinking hmm, maybe we can find a suitable, suitable boat already at 42. Yeah. <coughs> um, so... Yeah, because it's all about the layout yeah. and, uh, and the and, volume and how yeah. it's yeah and the condition it's in. <laughs> yeah, because that is important. Yeah, you think that's probably more important than me. I, yeah, I'm willing to take on quite a lot of job too. Yeah. But since we are already on a yeah. journey, more or less. Yeah, I now know. We're we'll be, now yeah. we're just between boats, and we want to get out again. It's not like we are. Uh, you know, as we no. where we were five years ago. No, um, no, and we'll be different now with uh, the baby. Yeah. So of course, working on the boat, and doing big major jobs will be uh, a lot tougher. Yeah. Uh, so you're probably right. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I guess the the hunt continues. Yep. We just uh, need to look at more boats. Yeah. Um, but. We learned a lot on this trip, so yeah. that's always nice. Yeah. Thank you for watching this two-part series. Let us know which boat was your favorite. And stay tuned for next week's episode.